Well, hello, hello, hello. Much love to you all. May God bless you all. Hit that like button. We are reading day four of three Psalms a day for 50 days. This is first fruits day number four. We'll be reading Psalm 4, 54, and 104. It says, Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing, Salah? But know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still, Salah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me to dwell or makest me dwell in safety. Psalm fifty four. It reads, Save me, O God, by thy name, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth, for the strangers are risen up against me, and oppressors seek after my soul. They have not set God before them, Salah. Behold, God is mine helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. He shall reward evil unto mine enemies. Cut them off in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice unto thee. I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For he hath delivered me out of all my trouble, and mine eye hath seen his desire upon mine enemies. Psalm 104 Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Who coverest thyself with light as with a garment? Who stretcheth out the heavens like a curtain? Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? Who maketh his angels spirits? His ministers a flaming fire. Who laid the foundation of the earth, that it should be removed forever? Thou coverest it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At thy rebuke they fled. At the voice of thy thunder they haste away. They go up by the mountains. They go down by the valleys unto the place which thou hast founded for them. Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over, that they turn not again to cover the earth. He sendeth the springs into the valleys which run among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them shall the fowls of the heaven have their habitation, which sing among, among the branches. He watereth the hills from his chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle, and the herb for the service of man that he may bring forth food out of the earth, and wine that maketh glad the heart of man, and oil to make his face to shine, and bread which strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the Lord are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon, which he hath planted, where the birds make their nests. As for the stork, the fir trees are her house. The high hills are a refuge for the wild goats, and the rocks for the conies. He appointed the moon for seasons, and the sun knoweth his going down. Thou makest darkness, and it is night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat from God. The sun ariseth, they gather themselves together, 
and lay them down in their dens. Man goeth forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening. Uh, evening. O Lord, how manifold are thy works! In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. So is this great and wide sea wherein are things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts. There go the sh- uh, there go the ships. There is that Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play therein. These wait all upon thee, that thou mayest give them their meat in due season, that thou givest them thy gather. Thou openest thine hand, they are filled with good. Thou hidest thy face, they are troubled. Thou takest away their breath, they die, and return to their dust. Thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. The glory of the Lord shall endure forever, the Lord shall rejoice in his works. He looketh on earth, and it trembleth. He toucheth the hills, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. My meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord. Let the sinners be consumed out of the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless thou the Lord, O my soul. Praise ye the Lord. Much love, and may God bless you.